Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, got a video for you guys. Um, it's actually been a video that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. Is my exhaust like too loud? Is it annoying? Is it worth doing for 150 bucks? You know, muffler delete does make your car louder, but what are the sacrifices? Smoking with the Migos, it's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Now, a lot of you guys know my BMW for having dual exhaust. It kind of looks like a 335, but it's not a 335 from a lot of you guys who know, um, who have actually been following me for some time now. But um, basically, I took my car down to Muffler Tech probably six months ago and did my muffler delete. Um, so I'm gonna talk about you, I'm gonna talk about pretty much what the things I dislike about it and the things I like about it and uh, what things I kind of got over as time progressed. And um, yeah, let's just get straight to it. All right guys, so the first thing that I have to mention when you do a muffler delete is the drone, okay? This is not an exhaust. When you do a muffler delete, it doesn't mean it's exactly like an exhaust, especially not getting like a new muffler. Um, a lot of people say, why do I buy a muffler when I can just do a muffler delete and it's kind of the same exact thing. There's a lot of factors in different, like different cars have their different sounds unique sounds for example a Mustang if you do a muffler delete the sound is not going to sound that great if you do um, if you install a new muffler into it like a performance muffler, muffler but mostly they do like Borla on a Mustang's Borla exhaust are pretty much the best ones that's when you get the pops that's when you get the good clean sound with like very little drone like for example when I did a muffler delete on my car the drone was really high the sound is really, really good. I mean, it has its it has its positive and negatives. The thing is with this car, the drone is very loud. And to be honest with you guys, that's probably the biggest downfall of doing a muffler delete. I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys. A muffler delete is a great way of making your car sound louder, bring more attention, but at the same time, if you do a muffler delete, just know that you're gonna have a lot of drone. And if you don't know what drone is, it, it's basically this annoying sound you're gonna have inside your car um, that you know you wouldn't have if you actually had a real exhaust. A way to avoid this, like how I do it, I figured out as you're driving the car, as you know, months flew by, and I figured out ways to avoid this. But the, the issue is, it's gonna cost you gas. So for example, on the highway, um, I put the car in fifth gear rather than sixth gear um, because the drone is a lot lower. Now I put it into sixth gear when I have music really loud in the car because then it pretty much cancels it out I don't really hear it and I'm enjoying the music but when I'm just trying to like think um, you know if I have an exam I'm trying to like memorize things as I'm driving um, I tend to just put my car in fifth gear leave it on a cruise control and that's that it will get rid of the drone but now looking at a positive aspect my car didn't really use to pop a pop is kind of important for me i really like to have the little you know little backfires little pops um it was kind of an important thing for me and doing a muffler delete did give me that of course it's not actual flames but what i mean by backfire i mean like it actually spits i mean it spits pretty good a monthly delete does that just fine. Um, actually, does it every single time I let off my foot off the gas between three to four thousand RPMs. People say you can do between five to six or something like that. I just don't feel like that's a you know a good idea, especially your engine being at such high RPMs. So I'm gonna show you guys the actual exhaust clip. I'm gonna try to rev it. I can't really get it to pop. Um, you know, not actually driving the car. I can just rev it. You guys can hear the sound of it. If you guys want to see it pop, let me know in another video. I actually have a backfire video. I have in the link, the link in the description. I have a GoPro set up and you guys can actually hear the pops. Um, that's pretty much the best I can, you know, show to you guys. In the car, it's a different feeling, obviously. Everything is a different feeling inside the car, but I can't really show that through camera. So I have the backfire video in the description, but I'll show you guys the revs of my car right now. And that's with the muffler delete, of course. So if you guys actually um, like the sound, I mean, I pretty much like it. If you guys do like it, it's worth doing. It's like $150. I think my brother's gonna do it. I'm not really sure. Um, by the way, guys, you guys want to like meet my brother and his story of why he got his car? A couple of you guys have been asking. That will be in a future video if, if my brother's down. He's always down. He's always down. So that's probably going to be a future video, guys. But um, if you guys did enjoy uh, this video and want to do a muffler delete, let me know. I personally think it's worth it. Uh, when I met by like the con over time, I got used to the sound, the drone, uh, to be honest. And I got, I figured out ways to avoid drone on the highway. Like I said, putting it in fifth gear. So there's obviously a ways to avoid drone. 
it's not like it's something you can't avoid. It's it's avoidable. Um, but you know, it's if you don't want to deal with all this extra stuff, just keep your car stock or get an actual exhaust. But a monthly delete for now is definitely worth it. So if you guys enjoy the video, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.